vortex rings. Here we have a 50 millimeter diameter sphere of water and we're going to touch a small drop filled with tracer particles to the back and look at the mixing pattern. We were amazed to find a vortex ring forming. However, after we made this observation, we could use our surface chemistry and explain why the vortex ring formed. And this is an example of why we do experiments in the first place, particularly those that you don't know what the answer is going to be before you do the experiment. Once you see what the behavior is, then you can use existing knowledge to explain what goes on. Here we have the needle shoved through the interface and we're injecting the same tracer particles and it looks more like what you see in a smokestack belching out smoke. 